me in welcoming the President and CEO of your Ohio State University Alumni Association, the only two-time winner of the Heisman Trophy. Are you ready for some football? Yeah. Yeah, I said, are you ready for some football? Yeah. Some big time, yeah. big time Ohio State rock 'em, sock 'em football. Yeah. Well, if you're ready, if I said O H, what do you say? Oh. Come on now, O H. Oh. Come on now, I'm testing that spirit meter. It's not where I want it to be. If I said O H, what do you say? Oh. Oh! All right, that is what I'm talking about. That's pretty doggone good. How's everybody doing in Buckeye Nation? Well, you know what? I hope you all bring that enthusiasm with you to the game tomorrow. You know, we're in Florida Gator territory, so we're going to need our 12th man. So you got to be loud and you got to be proud of our Buckeyes tomorrow as we aim for a big victory. I do want to welcome all of you. I do want to welcome you all here to our Gator Bowl Buckeye Bash. You know, we're thrilled that uh, you've chosen to join us here at the St. John Town Center to get ready for our big game against the Gators. Before I get started, though, I'd like to recognize the folks at the Gator Bowl for hosting this bash at the New Year's Day Festival. All right. Now, I know while this football season has been challenging in some regards for our program, one thing you can never question is the effort and dedication that our team brought to the field this year. I am, I am extremely proud of Coach Fickle and I'm proud of this team for persevering through some situations that were beyond its control. The game tomorrow is an opportunity for us to finish this season on a high note and give some of our younger players a springboard into next year. And you know what? I'm looking forward to that. There's plenty to be excited about the future of our program. And while we may be dis disappointed we won't be in a bowl game next year, I can promise you that Coach Urban Meyer will have his team competing ferociously for 12 seconds. And there's no doubt about that. I have a tremendous amount of faith in our program and in our kids. They made the great decision to be Buckeyes. And you know what? That's special and that needs to be supported. Ohio State is a place that presents so much for so many. I know what it's done for me. But for Ohio State, I would not have won two Heisman trophies. You know, I've, I've, I've told people this before and some people haven't agreed. They said, Archie, you know, you were a great player. You could have had success anywhere. And sure, I may have had some success in a lot of different places. But Ohio State was the perfect platform for me to have success. We had outstanding players, a strong program, and a football coach who liked to run the football. <laughs> and all of these factors certainly made Ohio State the perfect place for me, just like it has been the perfect place for millions of our alumni and great fans that we have. I was born at the Ohio State University Medical Center, got my degree from the Ohio State University, and today I have the good fortune to remain connected as President and CEO of our Alumni Association. My university makes me proud each and every day. Yay! So whatever happens with our program, never lose sight of the great things happening at Ohio State. When you go into war and you go into battle, those of you who understand it, there's certain people that you want right there with you. Luke Fickle is one of them. So throw out the records, throw out everything. Because what matters most is the character that he represented throughout this season. So Luke, in this introduction, on behalf of all the student athletes, that we serve every day, and the 350 employees that we work with every day, and all of Buckeye Nation, I know this 5,000 strong here wants to thank you from the bottom of our hearts
for a job well done. This is what's great about being an Ohio State Buckeye. To be able to be in Florida and have this kind of support um, is unbelievable. Obviously, on behalf of me, the entire, my entire family, uh, our entire coaching staff, uh, our players, our entire football family, I can't thank you enough for the entire support that you guys have given us throughout this entire season. I know it's been an up and down year. Um, it's been that way for us as well. Um, but you really, in times of uh, adversity and things, you find out who your friends really are. You find out who you're, uh, and who the people that really are going to stick behind you, uh, the true supporters of Ohio State and the Ohio State Buckeye football program really are. And I just want to say thank you to all of you that have reached out to us, and obviously that have come to support us um, every single week uh, to the best damn band in the land, to Dr. Woods in this final season. Thank you. Thank you for everything that you guys have done. Um, it's unbelievable. It's amazing to travel the country. But, but I do appreciate yours. Uh, but to travel the country and to hear everybody tell you that um, you're at one of the greatest places in college football, one of the greatest universities throughout the country because of the support and everything that you get. So to, to be able to go anyplace else, for me, uh, is not even a possibility because of the great support. Uh, for Uh, we want to thank you guys for everything that you've done. Uh, we need you to be very loud and proud tomorrow because uh, I'm sure we'll have more than 5,000 strong. But if we want any chance to take over Gator Nation, uh, we got to start it right now with Buckeye Nation. So we appreciate you guys. Thank you very much and go Bucks.
Thank you.